right no filter mma exclusive coverage of ufc 270 here is your boy bj back reporting live from no filter mma k hansen versus jasmine jazz divisius listen guys i am not 100 percent sure how this is going to work out for k hansen i mean I just don't know how good Flyway is going to work out for her. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was worried about it because Kay Hansen, she just, from, to me, not very, there's nothing that stands out about Kay Hansen. There's no, like, when you mentioned fighters in the Flyway division, there's something that stands out about them. You know what I'm saying? When you mention Manon Fiodo, it's the striking. When you mention Casey O'Neill, it's the grappling. You know, when you mention Aaron Blanchfield, it's the it's the the, the, the striking and the grappling. When you mention, you know what I'm saying, Jillian Robertson, it's the submissions. Like, you know, Macy Barber, it's the power. There's something about every one of these flyweights that really stands out. Kay Hansen, on the other hand, there's not there's really nothing about Kay Hansen that stands out. Her striking is mediocre, her grappling is mediocre, her power is mediocre, everything about her is mediocre. So I really don't know where she goes in this in this division. I don't know where she goes in the UFC. She's lost two in a row. You know what I'm saying? And Jasmine Jazdavisius didn't really do anything. She didn't really do anything super exciting to Kay Hansen. You know what I'm saying? Like, if Kay Hansen was in there with, like, a Jillian Robinson, that fight would have been over in the second round. Maybe even the first round. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, Jasmine, she didn't hit her too hard. She didn't try to submit her to. She wasn't chasing the submission. You know what I'm saying? Like, her ground and pound was hitting, but it didn't cut her open. It didn't split her open. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, it just, you know, it just, she wasn't faced with the most opposition, and she still couldn't overcome it. You know what I'm saying? It's just, I, don't, I just don't know what to think about Kay Hansen at this point. It just really just wasn't much that she did and then you know but jasmine jazz the business on the other hand like i like her tenacity you know what i'm saying like k hansen was you know what i'm saying offering some opposition on the ground like i i, I totally get it you know so she was offering some opposition there um but you know what i'm saying jasmine jazz, jazz the business did a good job of stuffing the takedowns of k hansen and she also did a good job of reversing the reversing positions on k hansen and you know getting that top position and getting where she wanted to be in the fight in a dominant position you know what i'm saying but th round three when it came to the striker you know what i'm saying there were really only some good jabs landed by jasmine jazz the business and she's supposed to be a striker you know what i'm saying like, there was only a few good jabs you know what i'm saying landed you know what I'm saying? A couple of right hands, but nothing really spectacular. You know what I'm saying? I would say she lost the third round. You know what I'm saying? Because Kay Hansen was the one, you know, throwing the more meaningful, you know, cleaner and effective strikes. It was coming from Kay Hansen. Um, I like Jasmine Jasmine though. I just got to see more from her. This was her first UFC fight. So, of course, I just got to see more from her. You know what I'm saying? I got to see, see more. I think that if, I think that if, my girl Mandy Monster Boom beats Sabina Mazo. A good second fight will be Jasmine Jazdavizius versus uh, Mandy Baum. You know what I'm saying? I think Mandy Baum could outwork Jasmine in there, but we'll see. But anyways, guys, let me know how you feel about Jazdavizius being successful in her UFC debut. I see the dangers there in Jasmine. I do. I see the dangers. I see the potential there in the striking. I see the grappling. Like I see it. I see it. I see it. She just got to put it together. You know what I'm saying? She just got to put it out there. But anyways, this is your boy BJ back to No Filter MMA. Drop those comments in the comment section. Hit that like. Hit that dislike. And if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And your boy is out.